Um, Excuse me, I asked to speak. No, you're not permitted to speak. I am. Ah. I, I was given no. permission. Oh. <laughs> I have an English. I have Peter Tindall. Tindall. I'm sorry, I don't have a record of Mr. Tindall, but okay. Well, I have an email at home. I can no, you um, can confer, confirm in my right to speak. No, there was no right to speak. You, you, oh. There were people who were who did develop an agenda before. Um, there were some people left off. I don't have your, I don't have your name down. David, so, so, the, so, the, um, the email is from David George. Oh. I, I don't have any record of your name. I have a record. Okay. What's the difference? Please Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Where's the yellow? Now, um, I will give you three minutes, but you are the last speaker, the absolute last speaker. Well, is that clear? I'm happy to be filmed. Good. I, <laughs> I observe. Would you, would you yes. Spell out your name? My name is Peter Tyndall. I've lived here since the mid 70s. Regarding draft local law number two, dangerous and unsightly land. I observe that we're gathered here tonight in the presence of a portrait of our Queen. Recently, I've been watching The Crown, the Netflix series. In series one, episode nine, we are party to an exchange of views between the proud old landscape painter, Winston Churchill, and the young so-called modernist, Graham Sutherland, commissioned by members of the Houses of Parliament to paint a portrait of their senior statesman. Churchill mocks the portrait when it is officially presented to him at his 80th birthday celebration in Westminster Hall. It is not how he sees himself and not how he wishes to be seen. Again, I'm referring to the word unsightly in your legislation. Writing to Lord Moran, he describes the work as filthy and malignant. Similar words can be found again in your legislation describing the definition of sightly, unsightly. One of Churchill's Labor critics calls it a beautiful work. A conservative colleague and friend calls it disgusting. We are talking about subjectivities and, and who will exercise them. The painting was intended to hang in the Houses of Parliament after Churchill's death, but it had been given to Churchill as a personal gift and he took it home to Chartwell, where it was never displayed. Within a year, Lady Spencer Churchill oversaw the destruction of the portrait. She had already destroyed earlier portraits of her husband that she disliked, including those by Walter Sickert and Paul Mays. Last night I watched series two, episode five. The young Lord Altrincham so loves the British monarchy that he is prepared to speak out and risk vilification when he observes that the public, after the humiliations of the Suez debacle, are losing respect for the Crown because of its tradition-bound, out-of-touch relationship with those it oversees and governs. In his own small publication, Altrincham makes his dutiful criticism and for a while he is indeed pilloried. He, he offers four, uh, six suggestions, three stops and three starts. I will offer one of each. I move that the term unsightly be removed from all local laws to be substituted with the term sightseeing and that sightseeing <laughs> be represented not as the touristic seeing of this or that sightly place or unsightly object, rather that the term sightseeing be offered to all residents and visitors alike. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Woo! 